Okay, so so let's see. So we are saying that we were able to send data at ten kilohertz. At about ten kilohertz. So how how much time would we take to you know send that ah, piece of information? Okay. So to send uh, this message, yeah, a single message, yeah, it looks like you take four forty. Forty. Right. Right. Yeah. Forty to send one message. Um, which means uh, uh, at 10 kilohertz, right? Yeah. The pe time period was, uh, you know, uh, 0.1 milliseconds. 100 microseconds. 100 microseconds. Yeah. So 400 microseconds. You will send, at most you can send one message in 400 microseconds. Correct. Right? That's right. Okay. Now, so, but now let's say I have 10 messages. Okay. So, uh, if you had 10 messages, you will have to send them one after the other. Oh. So, I need to do it serially now. You need to do it serially. Or maybe you can run 10 wires in parallel. Okay. So, essentially you are saying that if I have a wired connection, yes, it is a dedicated line for that particular message. That's right. Okay. So, either I put thousands of wires if I want like lot of communication to happen in That's parallel. Right. That's right. Or I put one wire and send them Serially. That's right. So, you have uh, different types of communication, wired communication. Yeah. So, if you want to go from one end to the other, right. So, you could just use one pair of cables. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, you could just send it across serially. Yeah. Uh, I will call that message 1, message 2 and so on. Yeah. So, at T1. T2 and so on. Yeah. Or what we could do, we could, you know, have a lot of parallel lines. So I'll show them like this. So I could have one set, one more set, and so on. Yeah. So you could have as many as, you know, maybe several tens or even hundreds. So of each lines. wire here now has two. Has two pairs. Ah, right. ah, okay, so okay. I'll, I'll so like, yeah, yeah, you show it like that. I'll show it like this. Yes. Right. Okay. So one dedicated wire per per message. Per message. Correct. Right. Or per user, I would per say. Per user. Right. So so maybe I will call this M1, M2, M2, M3, and so on. So in this case, if I have some, let's say, n messages. Yeah. Right. If I send it like this, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, we said uh, each uh, is four bits. Yeah, four bits, right? So you will basically need to send uh, the total for n messages. Yeah, is basically uh, four times t, which is the time period for yes. one uh, bit, yes. uh, times uh, n. n. Right? Okay. Whereas here, I this uh, time for n, I'll call this t n prime, is simply four t. Right. right. Message one just goes across in one wire. Message two goes in one wire. You can almost very quickly get you know so much data. So much of data through it, right? Yes. Okay. So this uh, is very interesting, uh, but uh, you know I just have uh, you know s some some doubt. So uh, can we go back to that uh, waveform that we had? I mean, because ah, you know waveform. because what we have, what we have done is uh -huh. you know. Maybe we'll go to a lower frequency. Sure. So maybe I'll go to like. Uh, yeah, where we didn't have this ringing and ringing all that. Ringing in a very big yeah, way. Yeah. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. So hundred kilohertz. Or okay. Not. So I'm going down to from hundred kilohertz down to one kilohertz. Yeah. Okay. So that's still. By the way, if you zoom in, it is uh, still showing some ringing. Okay. Okay. But so, yeah. So can you readjust the? Yeah. Let's. Ah. So if you zoom yes. in. Yeah. So now. The question is some some ringing is there always, right? So yes. uh, now, uh, where do I sample this output? Because how hmm. do I on the on the receiver's end? Yes. How do I know it's a one? Because if I sample it, if you zoom in here, yes, in the ringing period, right? Yes. So let me go back to some uh, hundred microsecond per division. Yeah. So okay. So a little bit wider, maybe. Yeah. So maybe 200 microseconds, but this shows me two periods. Yeah. And I can see the ringing is very small, right? I, when I, it's, yeah. it's almost non-existent. So actually, so ideally, I probably want to wait as long as possible. Okay. Before sampling the signal. So that yeah. I wait for all the ringing to settle down. Settle down. Because if I sample it in the ringing part, yes, I could get zero. I could get zero as well. I we could saw send that. a one. You could send a one, but you could get a zero. You could get a zero, right? That's right. So, 
so you are saying that okay so this is where the advantage of actually spreading this over time is helping us right we have taken a single bit and spread it over time and therefore all we need to do is sample it at one instant that's right where we get the right value correct okay correct so you are saying somewhere mostly at t by 2 or at slightly t by 2 or maybe little yeah so uh, let's say in the center in the center in the center right where it's supposed to be what okay so like here let us okay say. right so that's where we sample and now that's an analog voltage that if right. that is greater than some vdd by 2 we say it's logic 1 that's right otherwise it's a, it's a logic 0 right that's so right. that's how we that's how we decode this piece of information on the other receiver end. side so in spite of all these non idealities we can send absolutely we can send this successfully right correct okay so this is very interesting um so next my question is you know uh, see this parallel uh, you know i can't have thousands of wires yes. because if i have thousands of users or thousands yes. of messages right correct what's the other way hmm so mm, well um i can imagine that uh, so instead of okay so let me go back to my message signal yeah okay so i basically chose uh, i had different messages 1101 etc yeah suppose um i change for the different messages can i change t1 t2 t3 t4 like basically t okay right so mm. suppose my idea is to change uh, this time period t right yeah. so i am now imagining that uh, imagine that message 1 yeah was uh, this something like this right okay like this and what i am going to do i am going to say message 2 yeah i am sending oops uh, yeah why not we will take some random message hmm a different for a time different period. t yeah different t mm. right so this is uh, t this is t prime yeah okay right? i am changing the time period yeah maybe this is possible so you are saying you can send both of these together if i do this on the same channel yeah i have trouble right yeah because now when i sample i do not know when to sample how to sample how to sample right, right? So, so this is a problem this is a problem so yes. uh, because uh, you know if you if you i mean all of us are used to this idea of bluetooth and you correct. know the mobile phone and all that correct right so there clearly we don't have dedicated wires right it's not like a landline absolutely right so what you are saying is if you are going to run this wire across the room why not just shout out across yeah why not shout out across but if i have 10 people shouting yes i have the message all you know mangled Completely and garbled. i can't garbled right? Out, right if 10 people are shouting you cannot make out what each person is saying yeah right? that's exactly what is hap- seems to be happening here happening i can't here. change the time period or anything about the message signal yeah. and try to send it on the same wire so, because it will appear as a sum of m1 plus m2 that's which right. is all garbled and gone that's right? right so in the next lecture why don't we look at the wireless possibilities of communication we should. because wireless communication is extremely has become extremely important nowadays yes absolutely Okay thank you thank you